Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Wednesday, May 11th. We are on the lunch break for work. So I have about half hour to be able to eat something and the day's going fine. And we actually have this case the next two days, which um, it's kind of nice when we have stuff like that because um, we're familiar with the terminology and the people and all of that. So we are gonna have a full day today. But um, I think tomorrow they're going to try to end a little bit earlier. Whatever. Um, no stitching. I know. I just, yesterday I was done work by 5 o'clock and I was just tired after dinner and I just didn't do any stitching. So hopefully today, still getting over my cold. Like I still have a cough. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of kicking my butt still. But... I just wanted to go over a couple of things. So I listen, I have headphones on when um, I work because I listen to audio and I have had Bose headphones, I don't know, the same pair of headphones for like eight years. And they were on a cord, you plug them in and all I had to do was replace the ear pads. And I mean, they, they went over my ears. And um, in cleaning out and decluttering and all of that, I wanted to try to get Bluetooth ones because I didn't want to be tethered to a cord. Oh my God, these are so fantastic. Um, now, they were also $300, but it's a tax deduction for me, right? And Bill was like, just go ahead and, you know, use some of the eBay money. You're selling, you're doing your auction stuff. Just use some of that. Um, these are Bluetooth and they're noise canceling, which means my other ones were too, but I could still hear stuff outside. Um, I could still hear stuff. These, I can hardly hear anything. I put these on today and Bill was right out, the boat is right outside, you know, or the trailer is right outside my window. And he was like doing some something with a big drill and I couldn't even hear it. I was like, let's go because... That was one of my biggest pet peeves is just hearing noise. Um, these are absolutely fantastic. So they go on like that. And it's just so nice to not have um, a cord. And when you turn them on, it tells you in your ear the battery percentage. Um, I've had these on since it's 1.45 p.m. here. I've had them on since 10 a.m. and it's at 70 percent so i think that's pretty good um so i could get through a whole day with one charge i just plug them in at night that's all um but i will link them down below because i got them at amazon well worth the 300 dollars for sure um ebay auctions four auctions end today and the rest end tomorrow um very appreciative of everyone who has bid and just, I hope you're able to get good use out of the fabric and all the stuff that I sold. Um, it's nice to get the stuff out of the house and be able to get some money back. Um, I will be glad after tomorrow when they're all done, though, just so I won't have to go to the post office anymore and do all of that. <coughs> so, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah, next week is my birthday, next Wednesday. And, you know, it's just a regular day. Um, I'm probably going to be working because I hate to take off in the middle of the week and someone isn't available. So I don't want to put two people by themselves. So it's not a big deal. Um, we're not really going to be celebrating until that Saturday. Anyway, um, I requested to go to Bonefish Grill for dinner. Um, their food's really good. And, you know, the person, whoever's birthday it is, gets to pick where they want to go. And, um... Yeah, it's just, you know, I feel like as you get older, just another day. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm going to be 48. And yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, so I thought we would do, I do have a talking point, but I'll try to do that later. Just because um, time, right? So I figured we would do... A little motivational story inspiring story I should say so um, this one is 
applies to attitude and it's called the greatest baseball player. A little boy was overheard, overheard talking to himself as he strode through his backyard, baseball cap in place and toting ball and bat. I'm the greatest baseball player in the world, he said with pride. Then he tossed the ball in the air, swung and missed. Undaunted, he picked up the ball, he threw it into the air, and he said to himself, yes, I'm the greatest player ever. And he swung at the ball again. Again, he missed. He paused a moment to examine the bat and ball carefully. Then once again, he threw the ball into the air and said, I'm the greatest baseball player who ever lived. And he swung the bat hard and again missed the ball. And he said, wow, what a pitcher. Meaning he's now not going to be a batter. He's going to be a pitcher. Um, pivot, right? Sometimes you got to pivot. And instead of thinking it as a defeat, you're just learning something that you cannot do, right? All right, so how are we going to unfuck ourselves in the year of 2022? Oh, I have a good little story about some shoes. Okay, this one's long. Making real change in your relationship requires you to change. It requires you to be different, to walk into the same familiar environments and show up in new ways. This might look like saying things or responding in ways that people aren't used to. You might be kinder, more assertive or expressed, more loving or compassionate, all of which might require you to step outside of how everyone in your life automatically sees you, and that takes courage. Yeah, acting, being different, because, you know, people, family, friends, whatever, you know, people tend to put you in a box of how you behaved in the past. So people think they can expect how you're going to behave, but not always. All right. So here's a funny story about these Crocs. These are actual Crocs, okay? I decided my husband got my stepdaughter got my husband a pair for his birthday. And even though I like the ones that are like the Amazon knockoffs, um, they're fur lined, so my feet tend to sweat inside of them. And I decided I wanted like a real pair of Crocs. So I went on Amazon and looked around and found these. I really like them because look, they're like rainbow colors. I mean, look at that. And that's so cool. So I had them on my Amazon wish list, and I only had that, the HP Sprocket, which I wanted for my junk journal, and like two perfumes. That was it. So Bill said, can you send me a link to your Amazon wish list? And I was like, yeah, I just added Crocs on there. So if you needed another idea. So yesterday, Amazon pulls up and I'm like, I didn't order anything. So I'm always, on, I'm, when it gets close to my birthday, Bill's like, just pay attention to the labels because if it says his name, you know, don't open it. Well, I opened the door and on our front step were, were these Crocs in the clear bag that they came in all they did was put a label on the bag. I thought, oh my God, he is going to be so mad because I had to bring it in the house. And when I told Jill, she was like, my God, someone could have stolen them seeing that, oh, they're Crocs, right? And then when Bill came home, he was like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, yeah, Amazon ruined that. So he's like, well, I'm just going to give them to you. Like, happy birthday. So I've been wearing them since yesterday and I really like them. They're very comfortable. Um... But he was pissed like and first of all what I didn't quite understand was that you know those were $55 it's not like it was not that it matters anyway but it's not like it was five or ten dollars so why wouldn't you just put that into another padded envelope that they put everything else in right I don't know it was so bizarre but he was not pleased um and then the never-ending saga of our vacuum so I don't know if I told you but it's been like a month now that Bill broke like the canister that holds all the lint and dirt and stuff. And our vacuum costs like $300. It's a Dyson. <coughs> so I've been on two websites trying to order the part. The part only costs $42, right? Each time the company has taken forever and I've just finally canceled the order because they don't know when they're getting the part in. And I told Bill, I said, we're just going to have to go get a new vacuum because I can't with that, right? So 
he was like, well, why don't we look on eBay to see if the canister is on there? Someone does have the canister and it's a hundred dollars. So I bought it. Um, and I'm like, I hope I get it. I mean, they said it was the last one they had in stock. So, um, hopefully because it's been a month we brought in our old vacuum that he has in the shed that sort of works I mean it will do the job but it takes a long time because you have to go really slow with the vacuum and I'm over it I'm I'm so utterly over it by now but um one cool thing I did this morning and I'll have to take you out there and show you we have an, a microwave cart that is actually really old that's been here since before I was here with Bill and it's like that um particle board and it's white so the tops of it, I had my mugs on the bottom and then I had the microwave and the, the stuff has started to bubble, right? As that stuff gets old. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to cover that in contact paper. And I hurried up and I did it this morning and it turned out so good. I did it in like five minutes. So let me take you guys out there and show you what it looks like. Okay, here is the cart. So the microwave's on top and then the mugs. Doesn't that look good? I thought I did a really good job for doing it in like five minutes. Yeah. And um, most of my mugs are in the dishwasher, but that's where my mugs reside. That's all the mugs I have besides my big rack on the wall, which I'm not getting rid of those. But yeah, I thought it turned out really, really good. But yeah, so that's it, and um, that's all I got. So, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and spending about 12 minutes of your day with me today. I know today was short, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.